Hello and welcome back to Vampire. We're just about to find William, who might be... Well, he's definitely some way related to the killings. But uh, we don't know exactly how. Actually, we can check out his... Yeah, seems like he's dead. Or, I don't know if that's William. But someone is dead here. Because we can't see him with the special... Uh, vampire vision we got. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Uh, let's examine the wounds. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Great. Uh, how about the outfit? This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Armed with what, though? Oh, the note! We're picking What's that up. This? Some sort of note. Let's check it out. Let's examine the boat. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Let's move on. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Oh, right. So we found a clue. Um, not sure how to read it. Some collectibles. Oh, we can jump over there. Bam. Being a vampire is cool. <clears throat> Track down the killer. Over there! There's one in there! Don't punch me. You stay here, okay? <laughs> I should I should get into murdering. Enemy Card. Press V to spot enemies around and display their enemy cards. What? Okay. Some enemies are more resistant to serpent types of damage. There are four types of resistances. Melee ranged, blood and shadow. Orange indicates medium resistance and red is high. Yeah. I'm not gonna kill you. I, I don't wanna be locked in a fight with you. For some reason, the it's locked. The camera is locked on this sucker. Stop that. I hate camera lock. I hate it with passion. Game, how could you do this to me? How could you do the one thing that I hate so much? We can't even check out the buttons. There's no buttons. Oh, we can. Controls? Oh. I'm not using that. Sure. Oh, control. Nice. Okay, that's enough information for now. Whew. Jesus. Oh, hey, mates. Oh, no, that hurt. I don't have time for this. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this non-violent approach because the thing is seems like the violent approach looks a lot of fun oh i need to consume blood with i that's a terrible button for that why don't make it like i don't know can you make it like page up or whatever like completely other side of the keyboard what am i even doing here I'm dead. Really? You have been defeated. If you're not strong enough, remember that the blood of citizens is the fastest way to evolve. <clears throat> okay, cool. I mean, I don't really mind non-violent way, but I would rather, like, rely on disguise and... And uh, 
sticking around and just Actually, we should eat him. Come on. I didn't want to kill him. I also have some special abilities. Oh, okay, never mind that. That I actually was one. Range weapon, equip and press a right mouse button to use your range weapon and inflict both standard and stun damage. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Okay. Shut that foolish mouth of yours. There's one of them. Did you get HP for doing this? Can I keep doing it? Does he end it automatically? Okay, he's dead. Do you have something? We had some bullets. Sure. This guy had some bullets as well. I don't know. I might just have to go and become violent. These are level three guys. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Watch out Let's eat him. Let's do the claw attack. Oh that, oh, that hurt. For him. I see. Is there a way to hide? I'm not so sure. Track the killer. At this point, I'm the killer. So, okay, uh, we need to. Okay, rats. Let's grab some snacks in the way. Can I just eat the rat? So, what do we have here? Oh, we ha gotta go this way. Hey there! Eat him! What do you have? Some shillings. Follow the killer. Oh, really? Keep out. We found the hideout. Very nice. Oh, I hate crafting. Okay, this game doesn't have craft. No! You have one of the opponents to... You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Press T. I don't want to though. What's level 2 does? Makes the stun better. Can we do it? It doesn't work. Okay. We can upgrade this. It's gotta do more damage. Great. So we got a better weapon now. 
whatever that is worth. Oh, we can rest. Oh, yes. Uh, do we wanna spend anything here? Increase my full health. Can we do that? 300 points? Sure. I'm not exactly sure how much health I got right now. My stamina? Sounds good. Great. Uh, we spend the points. No. What is this? This is the heal. I guess we can have better heal. Yeah, it heals for more. Level 6 acquired. Okay, let's confirm it. Yeah. The following light. The district is stable, apparently. What? Sure. Okay. Go back to tracking the blood. Going that way. The ideal Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. The idea of going somewhat non violent intrigues me, <clears throat> but it does seem like a, a more boring way to play. So I'm just gonna be sparingly non violent. Oh. Okay. Equip a two handed weapon and press yes. Right mouse button. Stop. Okay. Can equip. How do we equip it though? Some guys uh, having a chat. Okay. So these are my. Uh, these are possibly all my weapons. Yes. I can also choose to... Okay, back. So this takes out... Um, equip it? How do I switch between... Oh, TNG. Right. No, that's not good. Will please let go of me. Mm, game. Main hand. I just assume that you can switch between them. But that seems like that's not the option, or we don't know what's the key for it. I'm just gonna look at the keys. Shoot. Melee weapon. Z. Oh, yeah. It does. Switch between them. To be fair, I don't like tutorials, so I guess this is this a fine place. No of bloodshed. Hey, what's going on here, lads? This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. I don't 
think there's a peaceful solution to this. Whoa, that's uncalled for. Can we take his blood? Oh yeah. The Lord is my shepherd. Use bludgeon. Okay. William? Oh boy. He was having uh, quite the, I don't know, museum here. Oh, the Sean definitely knows William. And we can only talk to Sean. Aluminium shard. Let me go. All right, Sean. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return you. to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Okay, Fenchix does th do that. <clears throat> All right. All right, priest. I'm taking you back home. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. I guess you're staying. At least briefly. Can I just attack these guys? Can I just go full on bad boy? Oh, now we have the option to loot William. I don't think there's anything else to do here. By the looks of it. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Really? I'm ready. Uh, <clears throat> go for a ride. I have to say, I quite like your boat. Let's go. Headed. We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. <laughs> were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. 
Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Oh, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? Sounds like the best offer it I'm going to get. I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant. Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. He's not too concerned that I'm a vampire. Interesting. I just murdered like 10 guys. I suppose this place has seen better days. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh. Good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Well, that was fast. Oh. Can we move? Analyze William Bishop's blood in the hospital. Can we just jump up? District status healthy. Am I supposed to talk with them? I don't think I'm supposed to ignore it's them. It's okay, Jonathan. I'll see you later. You're blocking the stairs. Unbelievable. Come on, you bastard. You can do that. It's my turn! Uh oh. 
rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Wow. I don't have the yes option. I have I kill you, I let you bleed out, and be more polite. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. What? The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen, the higher the blood. Yeah, I know that. So how good is this guy? To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna mesmerize him. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. You wanna go into the river? <laughs> Damn. I imagine this how it must feel like to drive a truck or maybe even better. Damn. Press uh left click to embrace Clay Cox or spacebar to release him. Embracing Clay will provide the massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gain. You can go now. No what kind more. of consequences? Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yeah, the other people attack me. This guy just needs help. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go, but no famished hunter can run for long. Mm. Come on, game. I wish there was a sen sensitivity setting that would be appropriate. Because everything feels so fast and... And it really bugs me. And I'm using 400 DPI at this point with zero sensitivity. Even like this I can just do 360s all day long. to make weight doctor I've patients to attend um yeah let's talk doctor where have you been I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members no matter how illustrious they may be I found a wounded man by the docks he answers to the name of Clay Cox he requires urgent medical attention already making the rounds that's the Pembroke spirit I'll ask our porter Milton to bring him back immediately thank you nurse what can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Wow. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. 
Your office has been prepared. That was fast. I don't have any questions. I'm ready. Thank you, Nurse Crane. I was a doctor before. I, I know how hospitals work, okay? Come on, game. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. What? That's straight? Seriously? This guy has the gun? Okay. Also, really surprised that they already have an office prepared for me on the second floor. That's straight. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. I don't care about guns. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Um. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. But the suffering continues. Personal questions? Ooh, we need some hints. Did you serve long? Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in <laughs> France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Back. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Yeah. Damn. Sure. The pain. I wish I could be sick. So again. many guys. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sir, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Personal questions? How do you feel? That's a stupid question. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond the exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel empty. Maybe he's You're a in good hands too. here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. <clears throat> Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. I don't know if I. Well, I don't really feel like exploring all the conversation options right now. Please with everybody. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. <gasps> You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. 
You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. We can mesmerize. Can we? Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I need. Oh, I press the... Oh, medical checkup. Press for details, F. R. Does it work? Oh, they're not high level enough. Personal questions? Who are you really? Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I see. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, <clears throat> to your nocturnal activities. I wish I could be sick again. No, she's not a vampire. We can check it out. Thelma Howcroft. Thomas Selwood. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I feel better already. Can I go soon? Oh, we can't. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We can't we'll use our, our charm here. I see. On every and against th on this Good guy? Evening, Mr. Evening. You can mesmerize. Okay. One ugly bastard he is. Go back. Can we just talk? That's Pembroke nowadays. Did we learn yeah. anything? Good so evening, I can Mr. take Elf. him evening. away. Personal questions. We need to get information Goodbye from someone Mr. else. Yeah. Maybe if I mesmerize him and uh Bit him a little bit. That could be relevant. Oh, probably we can't talk with those people. Oh, game. That's a lot of people we can potentially talk to. But in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Okay, we don't need to mesmerize him. Personal questions, your life in London? How painful is your throat? How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Well, I'll let you get some I'll rest. I'll let you get some rest then. I'm alright. But in the circumstances, I'm really. Who are you? Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Mm. 
complaints about your reception here? What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Tell me about your arrival. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Good evening, sir. She charged you? She charged you for a bed? Yes. And I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. That's it? Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Hmm. Seems like we need to do a lot of uh, investigating. And you just don't know who is who. Good unless you're already familiar with their looks. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swanson's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. I totally agree, uh, Aykroyd. I totally agree. You know, maybe I can give you like a week or two. So you can prove yourself, so that you're not an overrated uh, dabbler guy. Your life in London. Do you have a problem with me? If you have a problem with me, Doctor Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Doctor Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position, but I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before. But I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course, you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Aww. Jealousy will not do you any good. Aren't you too old for such jealousy? It really won't do you any good, you know. Don't be ridiculous, Dr. Reed. A simple glance is enough for me to know you have nothing for me to envy. What the hell? Goodbye. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. My manners are so good. In the hospital, I was like, oh yeah. I'm <laughs> Damn. My sweet girl. I have such a, such good manners, British guy, talking with all these people who are... Don't really have my manners. But damn. Other than that, I'm just a crazy serial killer. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Why are these generic questions? Your arm. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. That's it? 
Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. My sweet girl. Okay. Reads me like a book. Oh, do we have uh, patients on the ground? We must have. It never ceases to amaze me how you, the dead. What the hell are you doing see? here? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. What? What's up with all these doctors? Who are traders? Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. I'm sure you're right. I don't even know. I don't want to get high. It never ceases to amaze me how you, the dead, seem to be peaceful and lost. Your city needs you. Your <clears throat> Every life saved by efficient medical aid is a blow struck at the heart of the flu epidemic. Volunteers make the difference. Inquire at the nearest appointments office of the Ministry of Labor and National Service or ride to 15 uh, Kingways, London. Okay. Let's see what we can find here. Oh! This is what I'm talking about. Feel a little bit overwhelmed by having to by having the option to talk to a lot of NPCs. It's locked, all right. Well, I guess we know that at least. That's okay. We're not gonna get to know everybody on the first day. If anything, it would be unrealistic if I spent like uh, I don't know, like two days talking to people. So, this hospital at least have uh, not three now. floors. Oh, Swansea is not ready. He's busy. But where is my office? Somewhere around here. But I'm just only taking it to kill people with it. <laughs> medical file <clears throat> patient Thomas Elwood male uh, age 24 followed by dr. Tippetts uh, this doesn't seem too relevant it's a hint for dealing with Thomas that he got hit by a bomb Can go there. Doctor Reed, that was fast. I'm here. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows, a kingdom of my own. This is a pretty big office. At least I won't office. be sleeping in a coffin. The hell is this? Can I even uh, scroll down? I don't think it's possible. But now you can. 
It is a rare opportunity almost and almost a privilege to approach a vampire, to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampires, or econ as they prefer to call themselves. We got super speed, mesmerism, and blood awareness. Okay. Game. Last mile. The flower's dying. It needs water. Oh, I can sleep here. Don't really care. So, I think... We need to craft or analyze the blood over here. Put it to the next level of it. 300? Alright, let's pick that up. We are level 5. I don't have a lot of XP, but it's fine. I suppose not fighting makes the game difficult even more so because you don't have uh, uh, the levels to deal with the challenges. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.